The Documents Added section displays links to the five most recently added document sets. This section also includes a link to all documents in the case. The following now appear in the list pane when you reset to the Ringtail default. Quick code values for the document and its family, keyword hits, content hits, coding hits, document title, document ID, and document date, and custodian. Find and Redact now supports advanced search query syntax and operators. Click the gear icon and select Advanced Query Syntax to find results. The Help button is now on the navigation bar, next to the Username menu. Ringtail returns help topics based on the page you are using when you click the Help button. You can also search for an exact phrase in the Help window. To view the help resources, you might have to enable pop-up windows. Introducing Social Network Analytics this new feature helps you understand who is talking to whom about what. It is well suited for early case assessment and investigations. Social Analytics includes three new panes that you can add to your workspace. Communication Network displays communications between people. Domain Network displays communications between organizations. Concept Cloud displays the concepts or topics that organizations or people are talking about. Let's start with the communication network. Initially, the top five participants will be displayed in the visual. Each circle or node represents a person. The connecting lines represent the emails between them. You can use your mouse to move the individual nodes. Hover over a line to view the number and direction of emails between two people. Click the line to select all emails between the two people. Your selection is in blue. The connected participants for the selected emails are in red. Hover over a node to see the number of emails sent or received. The orange and green pie charts also indicate emails sent and received. Click a node to select all emails for which that person was a sender or a recipient. Use the slider to zoom in and out in the visual. You can also use your mouse. In the grid, the participant icon indicates people who are active participants in the selected emails. Click the node icon next to a name in the grid to add one or more people to the visualization. Click Redraw to reset the visualization. You can clear the visual by clicking Hide All Nodes. Click a person's name to select all emails in your results that the person sent or received, or click the number of sent or received emails to select just those. To display only participants for the selected emails, click Show Selected Nodes Only. You may filter recipients by 2 CC BCC using the Filter button. If you need more space, you can choose to hide the grid. The Domain Network pane works the same way. Nodes in this pane are the domains or organizations. Lines indicate emails between the domains. The Concept Cloud pane displays the top concepts for your search results. Click a concept to select documents within your search results that include the concept. To view more concepts for selected documents, Click the Concept Cloud Working List button. Let's try using Browse, Communication Network, Map, and Concept Cloud together. Select a line in the network, and Concept Cloud displays the top concepts for those emails. The map can cluster just the selected emails so you can learn more about their content. Introducing Ringtail Data Models 
A data model consists of a set of entities, such as documents, collections, or custodians, and the connections between them. Let's start on the search page. Change the value in the show results within this entity choice to the one you need. Let's search within an evidence entity for all evidence records. To bring up all records, let's search evidence ID has a value. The list displays the current entity item results with the relevant fields as columns. Click Add New Item to create a new item in the list. The Conditional Coding pane displays the fields associated with the active entity item. You can use this pane to code values for a new or existing entity item. Let's code values for this new evidence item. You can move from item to item in the list to view the item coding. The related pane displays entity items that belong to connected entities within the model. In this model, you can see the custodian for the evidence item, the documents that resulted from the evidence item, and the processing job the item was a part of. You can create new items for these related entities. You can add or delete connections to items. You can load the items in one of the related sections as records in the list pane. To delete items, select them in the list and choose Delete Entity Items on the Tools menu. What's new for administrators? You can now specify a start time for the first continuous active learning training job. Select Auto Rebuild Assignments to reprioritize assignments after training using the new scores. On the Assignments page, Rebuild All or Only Unassigned Assignments and select the phase. Search Term Family Syntax now supports some DT search regular expressions. Create a new data model on the Case Setup Data Models page. Then choose to add entities you want to track with the model. Let's add an entity of media to the Evidence Management model. Ringtail automatically adds default fields, such as name and ID. For each entity, add custom fields to describe its attributes. Let's add a field to track media called Media Disposition. Let's add two choices, Destroy and Return. After adding fields, configure the column and conditional coding templates to use with entities. Let's add the new Media Disposition field. Let's add a connection to the evidence entity seen earlier. Let's choose one to many because each media item could contain multiple evidence items. The preview screen confirms the connection being configured. You can now choose to search within the media entity.
the media disposition field is available to search. Evidence fields also display because it is a related entity. Let's bring up the evidence items from earlier. Media now displays in the related pane. You can add a new media item and code its fields, including the new field Media Disposition. Allow groups to access data models by enabling Activity Data Models. To enable the Social Network Analytics features, set these three options to allow. The process for creating and selecting settings for a load file template has been updated. The Properties page contains the name, export type, document page determination, delimiter details, and file extension. Select Populate First Row with Column Names to include the name column in the load file. The default field formatting page streamlines choosing the field format for each field type. Set the default format for date, number, and Boolean fields. Set the default format for one-to-many fields. Include all, min, or max. For non-MDB load files, set a delimiter and text qualifier when the one-to-many default is all. You can adjust the settings for the one-to-many field values individually on the Columns page. Changing the default for one-to-many fields updates all one-to-many fields in the template. The Columns page lists all fields or expressions to be included in the load file. Column information can include case field type, field format, and delimiter information. For MDB load files, there are a few differences. The nine fields in the export table appear by default. All but document ID and levels can be deleted. While not shown, Ringtail populates the parties table with the people organization data. Case field type reflects the type within the case for fields added from the field list. Export field type is populated and is editable. Table indicates the resulting table in the MDB. For general MDB load files, the annotations page will also appear. Select annotation data to include in the load file. For all load file template types, there are two ways to add columns to the template. Add from field list allows you to select multiple fields at once to add to the load file template. Field names are grouped as they are on the search page. If you select a field category, all fields within that category are added. You can expand a category and select a subset of the fields. Use the search box at the top to search for specific fields. Once added, the value in the name column matches the field column, but it is editable. Add from Variable Builder uses the familiar Variable Builder dialog. You must select field formats within the expression you are building. The field format defaults do not apply to Variable Builder expressions. Under File Repositories, click Add Folder to add a new subfolder in the current folder. To move folders or files, select the items, click Move, and select the destination. Add a folder also appears within Copy and Move, so you can add a new destination folder. Thank you for watching. See you next month.